Hello everyone, this is Ramirez with Tidewater Renaissance Fighting Arts and today this morning I was working on a project and I figured, eh, what the hell, you know, as long as I'm doing it, why don't I explain it to you what I'm doing. And <clears throat> this has to do with armoring and attaching pauldrons or spalders to your shoulder. Uh, if you have your gear proper, you should have arming points, and those arming points would normally be what you would connect your pauldrons to. But let's say, for sake of argument, you've gotten your first set of pauldrons, you have your cuirass or your breastplate, whatever it is, and it has straps. A lot of people will think, well, I'll just tie it to the strap. And there, I've done that, so I can't say, you know, there's something wrong with it. It's not really correct. But there's got to be at least a little bit better way. And so I developed this little hack. And, you know, to the purists out there, by all means, this is not the way to go. But let's say you don't have the means. I'm trying to give you a simple way to create an arming point for your strap. So I'm going to show you what it looks like. And it's actually really, really easy to make. So really all you need is a leather punch and a set of shears that'll cut through leather. What you do is you create five holes. Use them on the largest setting and it should look like this. And when you do this, try not to get too close to the edge because you don't want those holes breaking. Try to get them a little like into the leather. And then all you're going to do is you're going to take the two top holes and the two bottom holes, and you're just going to cut a little channel between them. So it'll look like this. From there, what you're going to do is if you're really fancy and you have these sitting at home, you can take two arming points and put or one arming point and put it through. Or if you want to be simple about it, I just have some leather lace here, a shoe, leather shoelace kind of thing. And you're going to put it through these two center holes. Now I have one cheat for you. Um, when you do this, make an overhand knot and make sure it's in the center. And the reason for this little overhand knot is this knot is bigger than the holes. And if one of these two straps break, in the middle of fighting, because let's be honest, that's what happens. One of the straps, the one that didn't break, will still hold. So I put these through here. And now I have a laced arming point. And what I'm going to do is when I go through the strap, I'm going to put that strap through these two little holes. So I'll just feed it one underneath and then out. And then this will basically be sticking out and it'll have these two, two straps here. You can then tie them to your arming point, to your, um, the holes in your pauldron, pull it up, you're tied off, you're good to go. So once again, not a highly historical technique. I didn't read this off any uh, manuals or effigies, but it is kind of a simple way if you're new and you have pauldrons and you're looking to kind of connect them to the strap of your uh, cuirass or your breastplate, this is a way you can go about making them so that you have something to tie off. And as I said, that knot in the back allows it that if it pulls through here, you see it can't pass through the hole if it goes to the other side. So it doesn't matter if a strap, if one of these two straps breaks and it's tied at the bottom, it'll still hold. Obviously, you'll want to replace it as soon as possible, but it's something that can help you, you know, not have to immediately have a, a complete armor failure. Uh, you can do something similar if you do have a strap and buckle. Instead of the holes here, you would just create another set of channels for that. Make sure that it's angled the right way in that case, because obviously this is feeding through the strap this way. It doesn't matter with these that one will be slightly longer than the other. Um, I probably could have just turned the orientation this way. The problem with that with this is that it does make it a little bit bigger. So this is a simple hack for 
attaching pauldrons to a cuirass. And if you found this helpful, great. Um, as I said, for those that are highly historical, probably not. You should probably just have a regular arming point sewn into your um, your Akaton or your Gambeson, or um, you can even have a arming point going through if you're wearing uh, chainmail uh, standard. You can have it kind of poking through there and attach it. So there are more historical ways to do it. This is just something simple if you're kind of getting started and you're like, crap, I don't know how to attach the, the shoulder pauldrons to my cuirass. Here's a, a simple method for doing it. All right. See you in the next video.